Maureen's off tonight. As vaccinations rise, fewer and fewer people are testing positive for COVID-19 in our area. But those that do are proving the effectiveness of the vaccines. Jack Watson live tonight to tell us how, Jack. That's right, Adam, and all this really underscores just how important it is to get the vaccine, according to health experts, as the vast, vast majority of people who are getting COVID-19 are not vaccinated. Monroe County Health Commissioner Dr. Michael Mendoza sharing this statistic on Twitter. 97.7% of the positive cases since March 1st were in people who report not having been vaccinated appropriately against COVID. Mendoza adds many were children who were not eligible for the vaccine. I think it's, it's the critical point. In the eyes of Finger Lakes Vaccine Hub leader Dr. Nana Bennett, it underscores the need to get the vaccine out. We really would like to see them get vaccinated. We would like to reduce our numbers to the point where we have no disease in our community. But Dr. Bennett notes the vaccine hub is still facing an uphill battle with counties surrounding Monroe. According to state numbers, 58% of Monroe County's total population has at least one vaccine dose. In western neighbor Orleans County, that number is 42%. In Livingston, 48.7% and 43.5% in Wyoming County. If you're in a small community where uh, 40 or 50 percent of people are vaccinated, the virus can still circulate. And so we really need to get everyone up to those higher numbers. Now, Bennett says the focus of distributing the vaccine will lie in smaller community based sites, not the big ones like the Dome Arena or Hawkeye Lot, and not quite a table at the end of a cul de sac, but places, Bennett says, where folks are familiar and comfortable. I would hope um, at some point uh, we would even be able to get more granular, as you say, a table at the end of the cul-de-sac, maybe not quite that granular, but, but really in the neighborhood and really accessible. So, Adam, of course, that leaves about 2%. That 97.7% figure leaves about 2% for what's called a breakthrough infection when you've been vaccinated, but you still get the virus. But we should note that in those cases, the symptoms are much less severe and the chances of a hospitalization are much less likely. We are live at Strong Hospital. Jack Watson, News 8. All right, Jack, thank you. We should also note that new cases in Monroe County were again low today, just 33 new cases, quite a drop over the past few weeks.